Do you know that? Yes. Because when you bully someone, and when you're going to body shame somebody, you are infringing on their rights. And infringing on their rights means when you are deciding to be the owner of Pupilu by this person, and you want this person to be below you. And that is not right. I want you all to stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. I said stand up at the table. Now I want you. I want you. I want you to take your hands. And I want you to look at your hands. Everybody. It's your own assignment. You don't need to talk to your neighbor. This is between yourself and yourself and yourself. It's between who? Thank you. Look at your hands. Look at your hands. Right. Now look at the top and now look uh, underneath your hands. Now, how many fingers do you have? Right. Some people we know they might have 11 fingers, 12 fingers. But that's the gift they have. We don't body shape. Some people might have six fingers, four fingers. But life happens, but we don't body shape. Are you hearing me? Now look at your hands. Please take a moment and look at your hands. These hands. These hands that you are looking at. These hands should symbolize to you that you are the owner of your future. Say, I am the owner of my future. I am the owner of my future. What do I mean? With these hands, you can decide to drop out of school and go work and be a domestic worker. Or you can decide to drop out of school and go kill people, murder people with these hands. But guess what also, with these hands, you can decide to say, I'm staying in school. I'm going to make sure I work hard and pass. Hmm? With what? With these? With these? With these? With these? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, listen to this. The fact that you come from a poverty-stricken house, it's not your fault. Say, the fact that I come from a poverty-stricken home, say it. The fact that I come from a poverty-stricken home. Or the fact that my parents can't afford certain things that I want. Or the fact that my parents can't afford certain things that I want. Or the fact that I, I, I don't live the lifestyle of social media. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. Now, quite speak to yourself. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. It is definitely not my fault. It is definitely not my fault. I told you that now it's a conversation between yourself, yourself, and yourself. This is a conversation between myself. Now listen to this. Now listen to this. But if I die poor, that is my fault. But if I die poor, that is my fault. And if in 20 years from now, I am living in a shack, that is my fault. And if in 20 years from now, I am living in a shack, that is my fault. Say from today. Okay, now listen to this. My name is Sita. So I must say, from today, I see that will choose right. And then at the count of three, you say your name because you're speaking to yourself. One, two, three. From today, I see that will choose right. Again, from today, I see that will choose right. Right, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Take your hands again. I want you to hold your hands. Your head, your head, I don't think your head can speak. Your head. 
Now, what is inside this head? Brains, ne? But why is it that some of us, our brains are sleeping half the time? What do I mean? Let me tell you what I mean. Now, keep your hands on your head. That boy at the back, I'm going to make you stand next to me. Because I think you think your hand, your head is your stomach. Put your hands on your head. <coughs> right, look at this. Look at me. So you've got your hand on your head. Right. Your friend says, let's go smoke Zod. Uh -uh, you are listening. Your hands are still on your head. Now remember, here's the question. Do you share a brain with your friend? No. Do you think like your friend? No. So why do you follow your friend when he's going to smoke Zoy? No. No, I want you, I want you to, no, you need, this is a question for yourself. So you need to answer yourself. Why do you follow your friend when your friend says he's going to smoke? This group is a friend of me. Why do you follow your friend when your friend says we need to go smoke salt? Remember we said there's no rock? And this is a general question. I'm not saying he smokes salt. It's a general question. Why do you think people do that? Uh -uh, uh -uh, let's listen, yes? Because? He says because they are afraid of their friends. The girl in front, please bring my stickers. Please run to me. Please clap for me. He says because they are afraid of their friends. Let's give him a green sticker. Yo, yo, yo. Thank you. Right. I, I never said remove your hands from your head. I'm trying to make sure that you guys realize that you don't share a brain with your friend. Then your friend says, Chomi, Abuti Soli, we take it a little Chomi Taka, Rilona, Friday, Howen. Why do we young girls say yes? Uh -huh, I'm going to pick. I haven't visited the front row. Why do we say yes? Help me. Answer. Hey! Let's respect. Why do you think? I'm not saying she does that, but it's a general question. Why do you think young girls say yes? She says young girls would usually say yes because of peer pressure. Please step for her. <laughs> right. Now listen to me. I want you to take your hands. I want you to take your hands. I'm serious now. I want you to take your hands and you're going to put them on your private parts. <laughs> Don't say yo. Can the boy stand there? Right, listen to me. Let's continue. Now look at me. Look. Look how I'm placing my hand. I didn't say grab it. I said place it. Now boys. Boys. If you're a boy, you're going to say yo. Boys. I go. Boys. <laughs> I didn't say hey yo. I said you say yo. Boys! Okay, they say hey yo. It's fine. Boys! Boys! I can't hear you. Boys! 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 Right. Boys, tell me your hands are placed where? Where 
where your hands are placed on, who does it belong to? I can't hear you. It belongs to? It belongs to? It belongs to? It belongs to? So why do some boys think it's okay to take this that is private that belongs to them and want to force it on other girls or boys? <laughs> those are questions, those are realities. Have you guys not heard of boys being raped? Answer the question. Answer the question. Have you guys not heard of boys being raped? Yes. You have. Yes. Have you not heard of girls being raped? Yes. Right. Boys. But, but, but I said when I say boys, you say yo. Boys. Yo. Boys. Yo. Boys. Yo. Right. I never said remove your hand from your private, please. You need to place it. Isn't it when you rap? When you rap, you like doing things like this. Okay, you like doing this. Yes. Now let me tell you something, boys. Let me tell you something. If you are gonna use this in a wrong way, you are gonna land up here, which is juvenile jail. Are you hearing? So this, I want the boys to say, I only take off my underpants. Say it, boys. I only take off my underpants. No, I need it louder. I only take off my underpants. I can't hear you. I only take off my underpants. For only two reasons. For only two reasons. For only two reasons. Aha. You can tell me. I need a boy to tell me what's the first reason. Who said, where are my stickers? My darling, bring them from the table. The boy that's walking away, I'm very suspicious of you. Mm. There is a boy on the phone. Come, I'm here. So you tell me what reason why. Uh -uh, uh -uh. We are learning. We are learning. Tell me what reason why you. Take off your underpants. Too bad. Too bad. Please step forward. <laughs> right. I need reason number two. Reason number two. I need to find boys. I'm walking. Boys. Yo. Boys. Hey, yo. Boys. Hey, yo. Second reason. Why do you? Take off your underwear. Let's listen. He said to Pa, why do you take off your underwear? <laughs> he takes off his underwear to pee. Right. Clap for him. to take off their underwear is to bath when they are bathing and when they're in the toilet doing a number one or number two. <laughs> Other than that, your underwear stays on. <laughs> boys, your underwear stays where? Oh. Right, boys. Hello. Boys. Hello. What first reason, why do we take off our underwear? To bath. I can't hear you. To bath. to bath, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Second reason, when we are using what? The toilet. When we're using the? Right, boys, step for yourselves. Right. Let's respect the girls. Now, girls. <laughs> girls. you let respect the girls. Girls, the only time you should ever take off your panty is 
When? I can't hear you. When yeah? Right. She says the only time she takes off her underwear is when she's bathing. Is she correct? The first reason. Right. Girls, the second time you are expected to take off your underwear. This corner is running from me. Huh. Yes, the, the second time you take off your underwear is when? When you're going to the toilet, clap for her, please. Now, girls, listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Girls, let me tell you something. There is beauty in being a girl. Because you know why? Do you want to know why? Yes. Do girls want to know why? Yes. Do you want to know why girls are precious? Yes. I'm not saying boys are not precious, but listen to this. Boys, please listen. You know why girls are, go are close to God's heart? Because God gave you an extra parcel that he didn't give boys. Who can guess what it is? Who can guess what it is? Yes, yes, young boy. Yes. Please clap for this girl. I need you to shout it out loud. One, two, three, it's a what? A louder. 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 She says the extra parcel that God gave little girls is a womb. Clap for her. Now listen. Girls. Yes. Girls. Yes. Remember as girls, God trusts us so much that he decided to give us not only our vaginas, but he gave us this extra parcel, which is our womb. Right. Now, you need to protect yourself so much that nobody wastes you. You hear me? Because what happens? A little girl takes off her panty for other reasons than bathing and using the toilet. Yes, sometimes little girls get raped. That's the truth. And let me tell you, when a man or a woman, because sometimes we think it's only men that rape girls. There are also women that rape girls. Listen to me clearly, girls. Listen to me clearly. When a man or a woman forces themselves on you, besides forcing, they touch you in places you don't feel comfortable with. That is not right. I, it's not okay. The only person that's allowed to touch your body is yourself. Number two, if any man, boy, uncle, grandpa, pastor, police, doctor, as long as he has a sausage between his legs, <laughs> decides to penetrate you, that is rape. What is that? Rape. What is that? Rape. And when it happens to you, girls, I'm talking. And when it happens to you and you never God gave consent for it, that is what? Rain. That is what? Rain. That is what? Rain. And you know what it does then? Remember that extra gift that God gave us? Yes. Remember that extra gift that God gave us? Yes. That's when some little girls become mothers prematurely. Because God gives us this womb so that when we are married, according to the Bible, but according to our lifestyle right now, this womb, when you are matured enough to understand what you're doing, it is what keeps a baby. Don't be fooled. All of us in here, all of you in here have wombs. Active wombs. And that means you've got a potential of being a young mother. Did you not hear during COVID how many little girls fell pregnant? Did you not hear? Did you not hear? Did you not hear? Did you not hear? Imagine being pregnant at this age when you have a choice to report when someone has violated you. 
I encourage you girls, listen to me. I encourage every girl, every boy in this hall, if somebody has ever violated you, I encourage you to speak out. When I say speak out, you speak to someone you trust. You run to the nearest police station. Because sometimes you might be afraid to tell your mom, right? Yeah. Right? Sometimes you might be afraid to tell your teacher, right? But if you go to the police station, they have to listen to you. They have to do what? They have to do what? The police job, they have to listen to you. They have to do what? Don't sit back and be afraid and say, Kiataba, what do people say? Or Kiataba, they'll say, I wanted it. For as long as it's done to you, you didn't want it, it's rape. Even if you wanted it and you are below the age of 16, it's statutory rape. You've still been raped. Uh huh. So you might think, now nah, I wanted it, but I'm 14. Listen, whoever did it to you will still get arrested because it's statutory rape. So girls, I want you guys to hug yourselves. Just hug yourselves. Boys, I want you to hug yourselves also at the back there. I want you to make a promise to yourself. Say, I promise myself. I promise myself. I promise myself. I promise myself. Honestly, I promise myself. Honestly, I promise myself. That I need to be truthful with myself. That I need to be truthful with myself. And being truthful with myself. And being truthful with myself. Means I speak up. Means I speak up. I shouldn't be afraid. I shouldn't be afraid. I shouldn't be intimidated. I shouldn't be intimidated. My body. My body. My body. My body. One life I have. One life I have. And if it's gone, it will never come back. And if it's gone, it will never come back. Just clap to yourself. Now, I want Anika. I want Anika and Bali. They are going to give you some questionnaires quickly, right? Listen to me. The questionnaire, remember I said the conversation is between who? I can't hear you. The conversation is between who? The conversation is between who? The conversation is between who? Myself, myself, and myself. So as you don't sit down until you've been given a questionnaire. So as they come and they give you a questionnaire, sit down, take a pen, and start writing. Complete it. I'm going to give you 10 minutes. Write your truth. Spread your chairs out if you need privacy. You need to write that, 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 that questionnaire. Answer it for me. Please start handing out. As you receive, sit down. You keep quiet. We don't talk. Ah, uh -uh, but while you're sitting, you don't have a questionnaire. You sit down, you take your pen out, you start answering that questionnaire. Let me tell you one thing. I promise you today, whatever you write in this questionnaire, listen to me, whatever you write in this questionnaire is between Kwanele Foundation and you. It's between who? Kwanele Foundation and me. So don't be afraid that I'm going to take you tomorrow and go to your principal and say, Hey, who want to put it on the right No, I will not do that. It's between Quadrant Foundation and me. And you know what will happen from me after you've written here? Quadrant Foundation will sit down with the Department of Health, with the Department of Police, with the Department of Social Development, and based on whatever you wrote on that paper, we will be able to help you. Do you understand? Do you understand? Do you understand? If it means you must kneel and write on your chair, do that. Kneel on the floor, write your chair. But we don't talk. It's not a discussion form. It's you, yourself, and yourself. Can we not talk? Can we not talk? Can we not talk? Everybody is quiet. It's between you, yourself, and yourself. If it means you must go on your knees and press on your chair, do that. 
Can we zip it? We don't talk. This is a private moment between ourselves. And remember, like I said, boys, there's a table there. Remember, like I said, whatever you write there, it's even written on this form, it's private and personal between you and Guanele Foundation. You can trust us. And the only people that I will share this information with, not your school, trust me, not your school, but I'll share it with the Department of Police, I'll share it with the Department of Social Development, I'll share it with the Department of Health, so that we can be able to assist where we need to. So everybody is quiet, quiet, we don't talk, just answer what you can as honestly as you can, you don't have a phone. Anika, there's no phone for that. Remember we don't share answers, this is about you, yourself, and yourself. form this side. Yeah. Right. I'll just read through it so that people can understand. Right, place eight and nine. Right, so Mom Monica is walking around. If there's something you don't understand, just put your hand up. Mam Anika Mbali will walk around and explain to you privately. If there's something on the form that you don't understand, just put your hand up and we'll come to you because we need to respect that this is between you, yourself, and yourself. Can we not laugh at the back, the boys? Mali, can you be stationed at the back? No. No. Another question, another thing just to tell you, I will not, one of the foundation will not phone your parents and say, listen to what your child said. The reason why we just want the details is so that if you wrote something that needs help, at least I know your address, but obviously through the social workers, Department of Education and the police, we're not going to take the form and say, hey, your child tweets and we don't know. Wanele Foundation is here to protect and love you guys. That is why we have the police, Department of Health, Department of Social Development here with us so that we are able to gather the information and bring forth help where it's needed. So don't be afraid and say, ah, I'm afraid to write. It won't happen. We are working with the relevant departments that will assist. And when you're done filling in your form, just put your hand up so we can, if you're done with your form, put your hand up with the sharp sign like this, put a sharp. Then we can collect it from you.
Then you just put a shot by up. Split one of you must move from the team. Come, Then you put your thumb up. Mm -hmm.
The stickers that I'm putting on your forehead when you're done. That's just to say, well done. Well done for speaking your truth. Can we not disturb the others? Please accept our speeches of pride. It's from love to you. Remember, we all share forms, it's not share fact kind of. And it's the one more thing. Oh, he is just on. Um, please don't take your stickers off. I'm mean, gonna wanna take a picture with you guys with your stickers. But I don't see sharp zinto.
Right gate. Right, we've got a half a second left. Most of you are saying, I didn't write my name. Listen, grade eight and nines. Most of you are saying, I didn't write my name. It's super, it's okay. Your parents' surname is there. So if I need to find you, don't worry. I won't phone your parents, but I'll find you through the school details to so say, This one, what's her surname? I want her. You see, I'm looking for you. Um, at the back. Right. Right, credit and nine from today's 
intervention. Let me tell you one thing. Yes, it's our first time coming to Ziraz to speak to the grade eight and nine, right? But guess what? It's not one of the foundations last time. So we, as one of the foundation, we're going to have a conversation with your principal because we want to adopt your school. And what does that mean? We want to deal strictly with the grade eight and nine learners. So next year, the ones who are in grade eight will be in grade nine, and those in grade nine will be in grade 10. So we are going to implement conversations and dialogues on gender-based violence and femicide every month, according to the timetable of your school, okay? So it's not the last time you see us. We're not just here and then we vanish, no. We are away at exam time. Schools are almost closing. So 2022, when they say Guadalupe Foundation is coming, you will be the ones now to teach the grade eight, because you'll be in grade nine, about what Guadalupe Foundation stands for. Most of you have cell phones. Hello? I saw you guys, most of you have cell phones, right? Aha. Uh -huh. So you need to go visit our social media pages. I know most of you have Facebook, okay? Aha. Uh -huh. Facebook, you write Guadalupe Foundation, you will find us. Instagram, you write Kwanele Foundation, you will find us. And then visit our website also, www.kwanelefoundation.org. That's it. Did you hear that? Yes. What's our website? Yes. www. Yes. Uh, uh, uh. You were saying with Stella, I can't say it. www.kwanelefoundation.org. Boys! Yo. What's our email address? Yeah. Hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys, on the count of three, we said our email address. One, two, three, it's what?
If you're afraid to go yourself, I'll go for you. If you're not afraid to go yourself, I'll go for you. And say, dear friends, 